All right, in this video, we are going to uh, mess around with backgrounds. Uh, the first two parts of this video, the first part is going to be a background um, where it's you know fully involved in your custom live wallpaper, whereas we can create separate backgrounds depending on what screen we're on and whatever screen we scroll to. That's what I'm going to cover here. So right now I have like a five screen set up. This is like screen one, two, three, four, five. I thought five would be a good number to kind of show the whole Batman Superman logo here, but nonetheless, um, let's go into KOWP and let me show you how I did this. Um, for beginners, this is very helpful because to add a background like I have here, notice I have no items um, down here. What I did is I just go over here, you got this little bar across the top, background right there, and I've changed this typically. Uh, when you by default is solid and it's probably gonna be something more like a gray color or something like that well just tap on solid tap image and my image is going to load up but what you have to do is you'll have to go to pick image and you can find whatever image you want to use on your phone now let's explore what we can do with this thing right now I have it on normal you can have it to none and now watch this number up here I'm sliding the screen on my cell phone. Screen one, screen two, screen three, screen four, screen five. Notice screen three lights up because that's actually, I guess, a uh, center screen or something. But anyway, the, the point is, is that if you select none down here, it's not going to scroll. Um, if you go to normal, it's gonna go back and do so. We're on screen one, notice screen two, three, four, five. So that's what's gonna cause it to scroll. Um, if you go to inverted, now it's going to go in the opposite direction. So screen one, I'm on the right side, and as I go to screen two, three, four, and five, it's inverting the scroll. I'm going to keep that on normal for right now, and then screen three right there in the middle. You can filter it. You can make that image black and white. Notice the color changed. You can, uh, that looks like a little vintage look to me. Doesn't look bad. You can uh, desaturate it. So notice the red is going to kind of come saturated. Almost turning black and white, pretty much. And what else can you do? You can invert the colors in it. So, you know, there's another effect. That looks kind of interesting, actually. And what we can also do with this, I'm gonna put this back on none for filter. So that's just a plain old image. You can blur it to your liking and you can make it darker um, and pretty much make it black. So that's some things you can do with a plain old wallpaper. Now, with this still showing, now I'm gonna save this, go back to my home screen. Essentially, I have done nothing. Um, compared to what it was when the video started. As you can see, it's just still the same background. Now suppose you want different backgrounds as you scroll through different screens. So this may be helpful as well. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add an overlap group and I'm going to call it one because this is what I this is the background I want on screen one. So I'm just going to call it one. Inside of that overlap group, I'm going to add a rectangle. So shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this to rectangle. See that little rectangle at the top? I want that rectangle to fill up the whole screen. In KOWP, at least on my phone, I think it does work like this for pretty much all devices, to fill up the whole width of one screen, set it to 720, and that will fill it up perfectly. And I think the bottom one is 1280 by default. I'm going to tell you what, if I back up from 1280, there's 1270, 1260, 1240, but 1280 fills it up perfectly. Now, you know, this overlap group, I'm scrolling through my cell phone. Hopefully you can see these numbers changing up here, but, uh, you know, I don't see the Superman Batman logo anymore. Well, the reason why, since we have something inside an overlap group, we need to apply an animation. And remember, I called this overlap group, as you can see right here, I called it overlap group one. I only want to see this on screen one. So I'm gonna to go to animation for that overlap group. I'm going to add one and I'm going to react on a background scroll. Now, as I start scrolling, you can see some of the Batman back there in the back. I want this entire white rectangle to be fully displayed when I'm on screen one. And right now it's not. So to change that, we go to rule, I think we can leave it on center, go to that center right there, change it to screen one, and now it's filling up screen one. Well, let's look and see what happens when we go to screen two. So scrolling, it's scrolling, but it's not scrolling enough. Now, what I need to set mine to is 400. Depend now notice if I go to 350, see how it's, you know, there's screen one, here's screen two, watch this number change up here. 
it's just about all the way off. If I can bump this up to 400, this number does depend on, oh, and I can't type in 400. Great. All right, so let me scroll. All right, so 400. That right there, screen one, screen two. That number, speed of 400, that depends on how many screens you have. So don't always think it's 400. But that's what I need. Now, screen three, four, and five, I'm seeing all the Batman logo. Well, ultimately, I'm going to end up hiding all of this. Now, let me go back. All the way to root. Let me copy and paste. And I'm going to rename this one, too. So I want to do the same thing with this next overlap group. But this rectangle, I'm going to change its color to red. Now, something else for beginners, too. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't. But you can actually apply an image to this thing. I'll do it on another one in a minute. But right now, okay, there's screen one. There's screen two, three, four, five. Well, notice the red is hiding that white that I just added. So what we have to do is go back to the overlap group that we call two, go to animation, and go to that same animation, but now we're in overlap group two, so let's just change the center to screen two. And what we have now, screen one, we want white, screen two, we want red. Now three, four, and five, they're still there. And now if we save this and go back and look, Let's see where we are. Okay, this is screen three because I'm in the center. There's screen four. There's screen five. That's four, three. Now there's two and there's one. See how those are hiding this? So this is your alternative method to a background. I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to copy and paste and I'm going to call this one four. Let's just say for the sake of this video, I'll, I'm just calling it four so I remember. Now, when I do this, I'm going to change this one. I'm going to go to paint. Um, we can change it to whatever we want. I'm not going to keep it blue for long, but blue is hiding that red. There's white on one. Blue is hiding that red that we had on two. So remember, you have to change the animation, put it on the screen that you want it on. So I'm going to go to screen four. Now the blue is completely gone. Let's watch these numbers. Screen one, screen two, screen three is still visible, but since I put that uh, screen on four, there's the blue, and now there's five. Now let me show you what I was talking about. You can make all of these basic colors you see, see this blue and this red and this white, you can actually make these images as well. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go and change this white one. Now the white one I had in down here in one, overlap group one, I'm going to go to rectangle, and what we need to do now, notice the paint is white because I'm on that same rectangle. Go to FX, if you go to mask, whoops, my bad, not mask, go to texture, and go to bitmap. And now this is where you can pick an image. So I'm going to pick an image, and then we will come back and see how this white is going to change. So there we go. Um, that was, this what you see here is the image that I've picked. Now, this is going to replace that white. Anytime you have FX and you have bitmap on, it's going to totally ignore the fact that this thing was white. So this is, watch up here, screen one, there's screen two, screen three, screen four, here's screen five. So I'm kind of integrating all of these things. You know, there's a background inside of it. Now, what should we do with this thing? Uh, mode, fit center, that's doing that. What about repeat? Repeat, uh -uh, I don't know. Mirror, uh, I don't know what that does. Uh, fit center is probably our best bet. Filter, we can apply those same filters as earlier. We can desaturate it, or whatever we want to do. Um, it's not really changing too much since the thing's already kind of black and white. But nonetheless, hopefully you are starting to get an idea of how you can change each individual screen depending on how many screens you have. So that's screen one, it used to be white, but we changed it to an image. Screen two, solid color. Screen three is the background that you can add right inside a KOWP without adding any items. Screen four is another one of those animations we did. And screen five, we have done nothing with that. But there you have it, that is two ways that you can play around with backgrounds. Again, one way is directly inside of background, 
That's where I put the Superman image right there, Superman Batman image. And then the second way is where you can add overlap groups for like that one and you can change and make that rectangle the full size of the screen and remember you can even make it an image as well. So essentially as many screens as you have, you can have that many wallpapers or backgrounds. I should say backgrounds. Yeah, that sounds better for this case. But that's it for this video. I hope it helped.